All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am testing out a new camera here. This is a new GoPro Hero 8 Black that my lovely girlfriend got for me. Um, I'm just, the idea behind that was that vlogging would be much easier if I could just tuck this thing in my pocket and go. But I'm not really sure how the low light is gonna be. But uh, I guess we're gonna see after I film this clip. Also, the audio on these seems to be much better than past GoPros. So uh, that's gonna be interesting too. Yeah, so I'm going down to the shop now. Um, all the jeeping is done, all the tools are away and all that stuff, so that's good. We're back to status quo. I want to uh, work on that dirt bike some more. Um, I got a new stator from Baja Designs, so I'm gonna throw that on, see if that does anything for my spark issue. Okay, so back to this little guy. Um, if you guys remember, I was having spark issues. Now that I'm looking at it, it's all unplugged still. Um, I have this new CDI in there, all that nonsense. But the last piece of the puzzle would be the stator. I was looking on Amazon for some cheaper ones, but for the Stator F50, it's like a very specific design, at least the OEM one is. So I wasn't sure what exactly I'm looking for it. So I kind of trust Baja Designs. Um, to have a product that's actually going to work for what I need. Plus, it'd be pretty cool to put some lights on this thing for whatever reason. But So, uh, I got a bearing puller or a flywheel puller here. Shout out to my mom. She accidentally ordered this. So, I'm going to hook this thing on there. Hopefully, that comes right off. And who knows what will happen after that. All right, so I'm not really sure what this is supposed to look like, but compared to the Baja Designs, there is no copper or anything on these. So I guess it was just up to these little strips here to create the power. Huh. So unfortunately, uh, I didn't get to show you guys, but it's... All right, so I'm back on Old Faithful, the Canon. This thing is a beast. Um, I was trying out the GoPro for a little bit, so we'll see how that turns out. I haven't edited any of that footage yet, but uh, we're back in the shop working on this thing. So last night, I put on this new fuel line, which is great, fits like a charm. Um, it's actually really snug up off the pet cock up there. Um, I even put it on the overflow down here. And now, um, well after that, I had an issue with the fuel pouring out of the overflow of the car, which means one of the uh, the valves, whatever, when the float comes down, there's a valve and it lets fuel in. This means that was stuck or the float was stuck or something. So I freed that up, got it working, and then I put it all back together and now the gasket on the bowl is leaking. So I can't win with this thing. So I'm gonna pull it off again um, just reseed it. Maybe I can get it to work a little bit. If not, I have some RTV. It's a temporary fix. I can't find a rebuild kit for this uh, Sheng Wei carb. Um, so I might have to end up taking the L on it and getting a new carb, but I really don't want to do that because I like to sell it and maybe make a few bucks on this thing. But uh, if I have to do it, I have to do it. I'd like it to run correctly. So, all right, I'm going to work on taking the carb off and yeah. All right, so that was super easy. As it turns out, I just didn't tighten one of these screws enough right there. So I tightened that up, turned the petcock on, and nothing came out. So I'm gonna try and start this thing up and see what happens. Let's see what happens with that. Alright, so I can't get this thing to stop leaking fuel. Um, I know that the, it's the valve with the float and it lets the fuel in to, to balance that out. I know that's the issue, but every time I take it out and I free it up, 
Um, I put it back on, something else just leaks and it's so annoying. It's literally so frustrating. I could sit here literally all day and try and mess with this or I can just order a new one. I think Faster Minis has some for like a hundred bucks. So I think I'm just gonna do that and it, that should get this thing running right. Um, Cause everything else on this thing is dialed in. Um, the front wheel could use a new rebuild but I don't foresee that being nearly as big of a deal. This stupid little thing is gonna drive me crazy. So the day has come where it's time to take off the soft top and put on the hard top. Um, it's not really necessary because this will be my first full winter with a daily and not driving this thing every day. But also I do really enjoy driving this thing and sometimes I kind of look how the hard top looks. Kind of look. Sometimes I kind of like how the hard top looks. So it's not really anything exciting so I'm going to take the soft top off and then I'm going to dig the hard top out of the garage. I'm going to throw it on. Then we'll get the doors out, and then we'll do that, and then we'll clean it up in here and get this thing ready for winter. So there we have it, hard top and fold doors on. Um, I think it looks so ugly. Oh, I feel so cramped in here. It's just such a weird feeling going from soft top to taking a drive with nothing and then going to this. It's all right though, it keeps the heat in. All right, so I'm gonna work on. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna try and do some stuff on the Jeep now. There's a little, there's a few, there's a few odds and ends that I would like to finish up from the fenders. Um, one thing was that air filter that I just kind of have jammed on there. Um, there's a little gap in the pipe, and it's like, and it actually makes that noise, and I don't like it. So I'm gonna see if I can like. I don't even care if I have to put a piece of tape over it, but. I need to do something about that for now, especially because I don't want salt and stuff getting in there. Um, uh, so unfortunately, somebody took over this half of the shop. They did a really nice job painting the floor, but unfortunately, that means I can't use the big door anymore, and they keep their trailer outside, so I can't, there's literally no access. Um, so unfortunately, I'm confined to here, and I can't you know, just pull the Jeep in the back door anymore. Um, that was really nice while it lasted, but uh, I guess like beggars can't be choosers. Kind of sucks, but uh, hey, if I can keep this up, maybe you guys keep smashing that like button. Um, hey, we can own this whole shop maybe one day. That'd be sick. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try and see what I can do on this. I did notice also that one of my rigid pods is brighter than the other, and that's not gonna fly with me. So let's see what we got going on under here. Well, the filter's still on there, so that's a good sign. Um, I also do need to do something about this bracket. If anybody knows anybody that makes a, uh, a mount, that would work for this TCM. That is the transmission control computer thing of a bobber. Um, that would be great. I'd like to get that mounted on the fender somehow. Um, oh, I'd also like to revisit the blinker lights because right now I only have them functioning as blinkers and I would like for them to also be running lights so I have some sort of orange on the front. I do have the rigid pods, the, uh, these are the radiance pods, but I still would like something up there just, you know, just, I don't know, I don't know, it's just me. But yeah, everything else, doing good. So if anybody is curious, this is the stock intake tube, literally 
literally stock, not modified. And this filter, let's see, it's a K and N. Here's the part number right up here. E2993. That filter, you can just jam it right on the end. Uh, I did manage to jam it on there a lot better than it was, so that should be better. And again, this is temporary, but I know some of you guys out there, a little cheap, um, or maybe, I don't know, whatever. You just uh, don't want to spend the big bucks, kind of like me. This gets the job done, and it kind of frees up a lot of space down here. Um, I really want to get one of those cowl intakes, and I think they go in somewhere right back there. That wiring just looks terrible on camera, holy crap. But uh, yeah, so that's a success I would say. Um, all right, on to the next thing, which is going to be looking at making brackets for the computers. Okay, so I got the wires trimmed up. It's a lot better. Um, I'm gonna throw the cover back on this for now. I do think I'm going to mount it right here. So these two bolts will go right through the inner fender. That guy right there, over there. And then I'll have some sort of bracket that goes down to support it over there. That way the wires can still come up from underneath. Um, it'll look nice, it's super easy to get to. But, so yeah, um, I don't have a drill bits with me right now, so that's gonna have to wait. I'm still gonna have to think of something for this. Honestly though, I might just leave it because it it's fine. It's not going anywhere, it's not in danger, I don't think, personally. Um, I threw my washer fluid bottle back in because for one, it's winter and it's just nice to get the salt off the windshield. And it does fit, so I'm just gonna leave that for now. Put the horn back on and yeah. We got a fully functioning engine bay once again, kind of. Um, this stuff, I need to emphasize this because we're on the internet. Um, this stuff is temporary. Um, this is gonna be a project that's gonna take years and years to get correctly, if you ask me. Just cause I need to see what other people are doing, maybe find some cool products, um, clip all the wires up, and it's just, there's a lot of time that needs to go into this and it's not gonna happen all right now. Um, so over time, this will get cleaned up. And then when I go to engine swap it, when I go to a 5.3 or 5.7 V8 or whatever, um, it's all coming back out. So, yeah, I'm stoked on it. The air cleaner is on there way nicer. I've um, got my KC Cyclone light hooked up to the original light. This has that switch so when the hood is up, it flips on the light. So I just tapped into that power for a KC Cyclone Super bright, very welcomed. And yeah, looking good. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, next thing I need to tackle is some alignment stuff, but that's not gonna happen right now either.